Borderlands 2 is still relevant? Let's find out. PC games come in a variety of entertaining forms. For example, strategy games, puzzle games, etc. Another form is the shooter, which on the other hand is an incredibly popular genre that tests your ability to keep blasting until you see your enemies reduced to a pulp. Shooters particularly come in two forms, first person and third person. First person, shooters are often more immersive gaming experiences as the game you play unfolds from your perspective. Third person shooters simply look better, because you can see your on-screen avatar's full body as it navigates the battlefield. Both shooter styles are thoroughly represented on PC. Here are some of our favorite first and third person shooters. So without further ado, let's start this video. Valorant. There's no sophisticated way to put this. Valorant is Counter-Strike but with wizards and ninjas. One team wants to plant something, the other team needs to stop it from happening. How? Well, by inching around corners, having a decent aim, and making controlled call-outs in the team chat. Patience is rewarded here, as is coordinating with your team to control each map. You can choose from a roster of agents who each have special powers, and uh, let them do stuff like teleport across short gaps, flashbang around corners, or heal allies. If this sounds aggressively unbalanced, don't worry, almost all of these entire abilities feel like useful tools, as opposed to pain bringers. We prefer Valorant to CS nowadays, purely because it feels more current. There are regular updates and some priceless tools, like an aim or training map that are baked into the game, as opposed to being buried away in community creation section of a store. Call of Duty Warzone Out of all the Battle Royale games we've played, Call of Duty Warzone is by far the best paced. Little things like the way you pick up loot automatically and the lack of having to worry about a backpack filled with attachments all add up to make a shooter that doesn't feel clumsy. It cuts the fall off of usual BRs and lets you focus on the good stuff, which is wicked gameplay and that oh so sweet hit marker sound. Warzone's loadouts, care packages that contain your own custom weapons, add another element to the proceedings. Not only does it give you something to chase during matches, but there's also this desire to toy around with different weapon builds to create the perfect gun for you. The truth is though that the meta is constantly evolving in Warzone, so you may never find it. But this is what makes it so appealing to play. Whatever happened, there's always some event going on, or new broken weapon, and Raven Software is doing an increasingly good job of making sure the game's balance is just right. They are so good at keeping one's attention grabbed. Halo Reach I think most of you would agree that Halo is one of the most iconic shooter series to appear in the past few console generations. One that delivers fast paced action, outstanding sci fi drama, and addicting multiplayer gameplay. Sure, Call of Duty has determinedly come into fans, but Halo and its sequels, particularly Halo Reach, have a special place in many hearts. The newly remastered Halo Reach, a part of the Halo Master Chief Collection compilation that bundles and updates every mainline Halo release, besides Halo 5, represents the first time the shooter would appear on PC. The game now offers 4K graphics, ultra-wide monitor support, and other expected PC-related extras that weren't in the Xbox 360 originated. The bulky UI and annoying audio issues do detract, however. Overwatch Despite how the market frequently plays out, shooters don't always need to be dark, courageous, or ultra-realistic. Wacky, cartoonish fun has its place, too, and Blizzard Entertainment's Overwatch is a major example of that. Featuring colorful levels, multiple game modes that focus on teams attacking and defending, lore-drenched characters with vastly different playstyles, and a few mobile-like gameplay twists, Overwatch is a thoroughly pleasant first-person shooter that's filled with cheer and mechanical variety. Borderlands 2 With Borderlands 2, developer Gearbox Entertainment published for 2K Games, return to the comedy-filled Warzone. If you played the original Borderlands, you understand how this first-person shooter operates. You play as a vault hunter, a treasure hunter looking for an alien vault on a barely populated planet. Throughout this guffaw filled adventure, you collect hundreds of different guns with their own unique stats and qualities. The heavy metal lets you mow down a seemingly unlimited number of robots, mutants, and Mad Max style raiders. Gears 5 A direct sequel to Gears of War 4, Gears 5 continued the coalition of the Order government's battle against the alien swarm. Gear 5's captivating storytelling, solid shoot and cover mechanics, and excellent graphics far overshadow its merely average multiplayer modes. Still, Gears 5 is an easy recommendation for both series vets and newcomers. 
Well, this wraps up our video for today. What'd you think about it? Have you played any of the above mentioned games? Let us know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you next time.